In this video, we're going to look at describing rotations. Whenever you're asked to describe a rotation, typically there's three things you need to do. First of all is identify the rotation and what angle it's been rotated. So is it 90 degrees, 180 degrees? The direction, clockwise, anti-clockwise. So is it 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees anti-clockwise and so on? And where the center of rotation is. So where has the object been rotated about? So let's have a look at some of my typical questions. So. It says, describe fully the single transformation that maps object A or triangle A onto the image or triangle B. Okay, so first of all, you can see it's a rotation because the object has been rotated. Okay, so you're just going to state, first of all, a rotation. So a rotation off. And then let's consider the degrees. Well, it's been turned right the way around. It's been, um, you can see now the, the top of this uh, triangle has become the base of this triangle. So it's been rotated through 180 degrees, so a rotation of 180 degrees. Uh, with 180 degrees, you don't necessarily need to specify clockwise or anti-clockwise because it could be clockwise, but it could also be anti-clockwise. Um, if you want to state clockwise or anti-clockwise, feel free, um, but you don't necessarily need to state it, but I'm gonna state it. So 180 degrees clockwise about the point And then you just need to state where the center of rotation is. Now this one you can clearly see, and often with these you can just spot where it is. I can see it's here. That's the center of rotation, because that's where it's, been, uh, where it's been rotated about. In the exam you'll have tracing paper, so you can quickly put your tracing paper over the the center of rotation or where you think it's going to be. Um, trace the object and just rotate your tracing paper, and you'll see that it fits exactly onto the shape B. Um, there is another way to do it. Um, you can watch my other video on uh, locating the center of rotation, but it's quite complicated. Normally in the GCSE exams, you can spot it by inspection. Okay, so about the point three three. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, so here we've got a triangle and it says, and another triangle. It says, describe fully the transformation that maps the shaded triangle onto A. So, how you would get from here to here, okay? Uh, so, first of all, you can see it's a rotation. So, rotation off. Now, you're going from the shaded triangle to the triangle of A, so it's going to be 90 degrees. You can see it's been 90 degrees because um, the right hand side of this one goes to the bottom of this one. So it's been flipped 90 degrees clockwise. So rotation of 90 degrees clockwise about. And then we just need to find the center of rotation again. Okay. Uh, looking at it, you can see that the center of rotation here is going to be the origin. The reason is this one is a cross one up one, here it's a cross one down one. Again, if you were to put your tracing paper over this um, over the center of rotation or where you think it's going to be, and the shaded one, you can quickly trace that, put the, your pencil down there, rotate the tracing paper, and you'll see it fits on exactly onto A. So about zero, zero, or the origin. Okay, it's not always the origin, so you just need to spot, but you can see that would make sense. Let's have a look at another one. So it says, describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. So to get from A to B, it's going to be 180 degree rotation. You can see that again because the top becomes the bottom. Okay, so rotation, our rotation of 180 degrees. Um, you can go either way, clockwise or anti-clockwise, or you don't necessarily need to state it, but I'm just gonna do 180 degrees clockwise about, and let's just find the center of rotation. Um, with 180 degree ones, it's quite easy. It's sort of usually in the middle of the two points. So you can see it's going to be here. That's the center of rotation there. So about zero, 01. And again, if you're not sure, you can put your tracing paper over it. Uh, put your pen, put a mark on the center of rotation and rotate A and 180 degrees and you'll find it lands on top of B. Let's have a look at another one. So this time it says, describes the, uh, fully the single transformation that takes B to C. So again, it's a rotation, so a rotation of from B to C, well, it's then gonna be, if you consider this point, it's rotating down from the right-hand side to the bottom, so it's gonna be of 90 degrees clockwise about, and then finding the center of rotation here, you'll see here that this is the base of this one, and it goes here, so it's been rotated, and you can see that that would be the center of rotation there. Okay, if you were to put your tracing paper over and rotate it 90 degrees, you'd see that B would land on top of C if that's the center of rotation there. Okay, again, you can just sort of spot where it's going to be. Okay, so that's the coordinate 4, 3. 
if you if you think, for instance, that was the center of rotation, you could trace it and then rotate it and you see that it wouldn't fit onto it, so then you'd need to choose somewhere else. Um, but yeah, okay, and finally, it then says, describe fully the single transformation that maps A to B. So again, it's a rotation. Because the top becomes the bottom, it's going to be 180 degrees, so a rotation of 180 degrees, a rotation of 180 degrees. Again, you don't necessarily need to write clockwise or anti-clockwise, but I'm just going to write clockwise. About. And then finding the center of rotation, uh, let's just consider the points. So there to there, there to this. It's going to be about the origin, 0, 0. Okay, let's just consider it. That's three across, one up. That's three across, one down. So if you were to spin it around, it would land on top of it like that. Okay. Again, with tracing paper, you could quickly trace that, um, then rotate it around, and you see that A would land onto B.